Channel 8. Good evening, I'm Stacy Scheib. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks for being with us tonight. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Pinellas County. We have learned the football player who collapsed on the field Friday night is brain dead. And on your side, Peter Bernard is at the Gateway Baptist Church. He has an update on the story. Peter. Hi there, really sad occasion here. This is a standing room only crowd that has not left. Well, some of people have left, but when the uh, pews were filled here, you could not find one seat to sit in. I'm gonna step out of the way and you can see the family up there is receiving people and uh, shaking hands and uh, hugging, a lot of that going on right now. Uh, what we're learning is you kind of touched on this, that this was uh, a problem that he had when he was born, a congenital problem in his brain, and not due to that tackle on the football field. A spokesman for the family told us that. As you take a look at some pictures here some of the highlights from what we just heard here is that seven people seven people are going to receive his organs and give life to seven additional people so uh, that was uh, told to this crowd here and there was a lady in the audience that said that her family is a recipient of organ organ uh, donations and that they have people alive today because of that um, as you mentioned uh, it could have happened to anyone is what the mom said uh, she says she's content with it she doesn't blame anyone uh, she says that her son touched many people uh, the Northeast High School family a lot of them are here today and there are uh, football players here that are there are students the coach was uh, there as well the football coach and yeah she had a message for uh, on behalf of uh, her son to keep going Vikings her son always wanted to play football and that's exactly what he did and he was doing very very well that night that this all happened. Take a listen to what she said moments ago. And I wanted to tell his story and my story about it. So that's how it's going. I don't fault nobody. I'm in content with all of this. That's how I'm being strong because it's, it didn't happen in a tragedy. It happened in a call that I couldn't control and neither could he. The school board, nobody, no football. I don't want nobody to be scared to play no sport because they said if he was walking down the street not doing nothing, he could have fell out. All right, and we're back here live. Some things you should know about him. He was a 4.0 average student. That was his grades. He had a full scholarship all lined up. He always wanted to play football since he was a kid, and he did just that at Northeast High School. His mom's very proud of him. The people in this room gave several uh, rounds of applause when certain things about his life were mentioned, that he was just a general, really good kid. And this is just an unfortunate accident that took the life of a 17-year-old, obviously much too early. Live in St. Petersburg, Peter Bernard, 8 on your side.